the crew worldwide from Kali to Twitter. Real hardcore fans, boxing ass niggas, consistency cops, police the views. We'll pull up receipts for any debates you choose. Shout outs to Clan Arky for the dope production. Ring gang stay with the best discussions. Yes. Ring gang radio. And I'm going to take away into a different topic, something that you know we, that I was talking about with um with Jay earlier. Um, LB, we didn't, I, I didn't talk about this with you, but we had apparently we have different views on this. But I mean, I, we're, we're all familiar with Logan Paul and KSI, right? That's yep. the YouTube fighting guy, right? The, um... Yeah, the fighters. Yeah. So, so now, I mean. I think the plan is for them to actually turn pro, you know, be their own main event, and to actually have um, pro fighters on the undercard, like Billy Joe Saunders defending his title on the card, on the undercard, as well as Devin Haney. Um, now, I'm That's a some joke shit. I don't feel like that Logan Paul fight needs to be the main event. Like, I feel like if it was a three fight televised card, it needs to be the yeah. opener, and then you let you let the real boxers box. Yeah, I agree with that too. Um, uh, Pat and I were talking about this. We had different views when it came to the notoriety of KSI and Logan Paul. But one thing that we agreed on was I don't think there should be a title fight on a night like that. I think Thank we should you. get all the young fighters out there, like Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. Let's get Davis. Let's get all the young guns because yeah. these are the guys who get exposed to a brand new audience. But don't make it a title fight kind of night. It's a shame for the sport, for sure. Yeah, I totally agree. If, you, if you're going to make Logan Paul and them be the main event, okay, look, have Haney and all those guys, put them on, put them on some entertaining fights underneath it, build it up, boom. But don't have no legit world titles. I don't even want to see a fucking regional title on that shit. Like, Can you imagine like, a world title fight as the co-main event to Logan Paul? No way. That's what I'm saying. It's like, yo, we ain't going to fucking disrespect boxing like that on my watch. Like, nah. Yeah, no. No, no, no. If it is a world title fight, then Logan Paul and KSI should be the co-main. Then it makes sense. Yeah, exactly. See, I, I agree with that. I'm cool with that. Like, because I'm... I don't mind, you know, a different because audience. Because at least everybody like, who's watching, like, it'll be a good indication. It's a good introduction, too. Like, I, I don't mind that introduction. Like, I mean, I think it's a good idea, but it's it, the execution is what comes down to it. Like, you put on some damn big-ass title fight before it, it just come off tacky. Because all the real fans is going to damn turn the channel or, or do something else when the Logan Paul fight come on. Right. Yeah, exactly. But I think Eddie Hearn knows that. Pat, what do you think? I mean, I, I, don't know just point. I mean, yeah, I know Eddie Hearn's a promoter, so I know he knows what he's doing. Like, it's like, hey, you know, you put you put a fight like this, you know, hey, there's eyes on match from boxing, and then there's eyes on the zone. And then, because and then, the first fight, you know, had such a following, so I had so many views. That, I mean, he's not gonna ignore. I mean, he's not stupid because Eddie's Eddie's pretty progressive in terms of using social media in order to build up blocks and clean his own his own out, um, outlet. So, yeah. I mean, I, I I understand it, but yeah, it has to be it has to be done in a way where it's not disrespecting like the actual professional boxers, like especially like the champion, like the ones yeah. that are, mm -hmm. you know, the, the ones I mean that that put a little bit more work than Logan Paul and KSI. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. For sure. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, the whole picture is that uh, the sport of boxing is in a better position um, with some with an audience like the YouTube world because they make up like, you know, about half the world's population, you know what I mean? Of online population, <laughs> our YouTube subscribers, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it definitely going to shed a very good light on boxing. And I, I think I agree with you too. Eddie Hearn knows what he's doing. Uh, and I think he also knows that, fuck, I'm not going to put a main title card at the Comey event, no way. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, to do that, I mean, you, I mean, to do that, you'd risk turning, like, people who are the hardcore fans, hardcore fans of the sport off, you know, off of it. And, and like, watering I mean, down the product. Yeah, yeah, exactly, you know, and, you know, boxing doesn't need any more watered down shit, you know what I mean? He's no <laughs> Not in this era, oh my goodness, nah. Yeah. <laughs> if he does any more water down, we can talk about right? slap boxing. <laughs> if he does this card right, man, and like he pulls it off and he makes Logan Paul and KSI start collaborating with the other fighters as the lead up to the promotion of the fight by going in each other's vlogs and YouTube channels, this could be very, very epic if he does it right. 
Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, and like yeah, I mean, would we? I definitely we'd be the first to applaud him if 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 if, if, if this comes out like right. And and, and boxing is taking and boxing gets like the much needed mainstream attention that it needs. Like you know, uh, yeah. So I mean, if if they pull off, hey, I'm all for it. You know, what I mean, but just as long as. Yeah. You know, you, got, you just got to make sure the balance is there. You know, the balance yeah. is right. I'll I yeah. tell you my, my problem with this. We, how, 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 when did we, you know, you know, when did we get to the point in the sport, in, in this sport where YouTubers could get they fucking, they could get they fucking fight that they want. <laughs> Not once, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. hardcore boxing fans, we got to wait there. <laughs> Sensory and shit to get a fight we want. You, YouTube the, they the made that the shit is on them, bro. That's all I'm trying to say. And now, now, uh, now a light bulb just went off in this conversation because you just hit the nail on the head. Why is it able to? Because the attention is on them. They actually, you can actually see the numbers on their Instagram, on their YouTube, of comments, of likes, of uh, fucking followers and subscribers. That's the fucking detail there. Boxing doesn't have that data. You get what I'm saying? It's all made up data. That's why oh, oh, no, nobody no, no. cares. But even happen. then, when, when you have two fighters that are popular that get interaction, when people care about yeah. them, they still don't make the fight. So it's like, it, there's an ego, at least, at least Logan Paul and them. Because the fans aren't demanding it, bro. That's why. Dear boxing, man. That's it. That's the nah, best. I, nah, fans <laughs> are demanding. I think there's. It's 50 50. I think there's a contingency of fans that demand certain fights. Then there's the other half of the fans who they live through the boxer. So yeah. if it's a difficult fight where they could lose or they might, you know, look bad, they don't want to. They don't want that fight to happen. Yeah, and that segues into our final topic of uh, tonight, which of course will be the the never-ending time between Tevin Farmer. Well, it, well, I'll say Tevin Farmer, and then. His, uh, you know, then you know the people in his universe. You know, there's Jonathan Tank Davis, and then there's his, you know, Zone, and then there's Jojo Diaz. Um, LB, I mean, I guess I know you want to touch upon this, man. You so feel start the thought for us, bro. Clout chasing one on one on one. Yeah, that's all I see right now is clout chasing one on one. Like, I'm coming from the era where you know guys like. Israel Vasquez and Rafael Marquez put everything on the line, and they I don't think they got a million dollar payday until their third fight. Hell no, nah. I think they was making like 600k for the second fight, the first fight. Like, you know, what's what's I'll never turn you know, I'll never shun that type of money. That's good money, but, but for the but damn at, they, they statue they in the sport, out. yeah, no, I'm sorry, what's up. Yeah, saying, but for the damage that they sold out to each other in the first three fights, I'm ignoring the fourth fight. They, yeah, should, have, yeah. they should have gotten like $10 million just so they could have retired exactly. off Exactly. So when I look at that, when I see these guys do all of that, or when I see a guy like Zab Judah take 100000 to go fight Corey Spinks in his hometown in front of 20,000 people, Nelly and everybody, everybody and their fucking mom is there, you know, I have, I feel a certain way when I see a guy, these guys, you know, when Tevin Farmer is like, nah, you know what? <sighs> Two mil? Nah, I don't want to fight you. Uh, yeah. We offered you guys five mil. Um, five mil, two mil, who, y'all, st- that's st- still too much fucking money for both of y'all. Y'all just make the fucking fight. Like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> and, and this is what it comes down to the boxing history. Cause I think if people, knew the type of purses that the older boxers were getting back in the day, they would have more of a sense of respect to make a fucking fight happen. Especially a career defining fight. Yes. You know, that, that's my whole take on it. Like I feel like the fight should be made. Like no no I don't care five mil, two mil, whatever the fuck. Like no, no. Nah, nah. Y'all just make the fight because two mil is even if y'all had to split the two mil. Yeah. <laughs> that's still good money. Look come on. Yeah, you it know, is. And, it is. It's all egos, man. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and for those who don't know the backstory, I mean, Tevin Farmer is the IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World, and Javante Tank Davis was the WBA Super Featherweight Champion of the World. And I'll get to the was. So they've been going back and forth on social media, the platform, on Twitter, and God knows what, Instagram, going back and forth, you know, talking, you know, shit talking each other. And, you know, and 
it's one of those times where people got wind of it. Like some of the casuals got wind of it as well as the hard, as, as, as well as us hardcores. You know, so oh yeah, you know, let's, 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 I mean, this fight could easily main event like a, a TV card, not a pay per view, but a regular ass TV card. You know, because I'm not, I wouldn't pay pay per view for Tevin Farmer and Javante Tank Davis. No, I wouldn't do it that. It could be a co main, but it couldn't be the main event. No, no, of course. Nope. But the but the unfortunate thing is, it's, it, it turned into a whole bunch of he said, she said. Oh yeah, no, um, yeah, like he wants to fight, but uh, he didn't say nothing about manager or you know, no, he, he didn't say nothing to me. I didn't receive no type of offer. So now we getting these, we getting numbers. Okay, you know, yeah. we, have, we have Leonard Elby talking about two million. And you know, Tevin says no. And then Eddie Brett's hey, you know, five million, come bring Javante to uh, one fight deal to the zone. Uh no, we're not gonna fly on the platform there. Yeah. Well Leonard and Floyd yeah. fly on the platform. The zone's not a real thing, you know, blah 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 blah. So that's the Canelo, Joshua. Triple, Triple G. G. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn near everyone else, but oh okay, yes. Yeah, it's, it's not real. No, it's not, and then it's not real that nine ninety nine comes off my my uh, my credit card statement every month for the zone. You know what I mean? So you know, so yeah, of course it's not real. You know, so I, that, in that case, I should get my money back for that shit, right? If it's not real, then then why have we get the the Joshua Wilder fight yet? Because Joshua didn't lose. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's it, it's silly shit. And then now we got to the point where. The fight where Leonard was like, "Okay, ship is sailed," and then Javante Tank Davis now is no longer the champion because he gave up his belt. He's going up to one thirty-five, which it could be another another conversation topic for another time. So now, yeah, so now Kevin lost a possible career, you know, a career making opponent, and now he's going after Jojo Diaz, who was signed to Golden Boy, and uh, apparently, you know, they say he's made overtures to that. Uh, over to like offers to that, but Golden Boy is promoting saying no, he hasn't. And what makes it worse with all the situations is Tevin had originally signed a four fight deal with um, Matchroom Boxing, which he fulfilled, you know. And so he's technically he's a free agent. So he said, well, well, four fights for two mil, right? Yeah, four fights. So he's getting half a million fight. Yeah. So hold on, wait, 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 wait. The, the, dang, the, uh, the Davis fight wasn't that for two mil? So hold on, he could have fought one time and made two mil. Yeah, he could. Oh, okay, okay. I just want to make sure. I'm, I'm just want to make sure everybody's hearing that clearly. <laughs> Jay, what are you? Jay, what are your thoughts on this, bro? Yo, I'm just uh, really surprised as to how much of negotiation power Eddie Hearn has with the money part of this because it's like he's just a fucking contractor for DAZN but for him to sit in the middle and just negotiate it's almost as if they have some kind of fucking Rothschild payment plan with Eddie Hearn or something no? facts. <laughs> <laughs> fucking facts yo it, you know, it's it, it, it's it's incredible sometimes yeah because you're winning like I mean DAZN is I mean has shown it is willing to pay to build up the content and i appreciate that you know like i said because i pay for it you know it's like so yeah i mean i want to see i want to see the most i want to see some boxing on there i want to see at least you know a couple you know like three like two three weekends out of a month you know i want to see i want to see a card and i want to be i want to see back content i want to see original content as well i want to see all of that but it, it it is funny how eddie hearn has all this power with the, the zone uh, you're Still right. Still gonna make a triple yeah. G Canelo part three though. Yeah. All that power. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, he will, yeah, I think he will do that though. Yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, we have to change uh, Canelo's mind. You know, yeah, like, uh, we, we don't know. You know, Canelo's his golden boy, and you know, in you know, Oscar's gonna have to try to talk some sense into him on that part. I don't but, think they're playing nice like that. I don't think Match Room and Golden Boy got a relationship like that. Like. The, the whole the farmer Jojo Diaz and, and that's what really looked bad because you know you you ducked the fight for two mil for a unification or, uh, against a bigger name you know another champion a bigger star and now you 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 on Jojo Diaz like dude like you <laughs> like that's like you holler you went from trying to holler at Beyonce and now you're like you know what nah I, I can't get at her let me Get her backup dance. Yeah. Like, dude, what? 
Oh yeah, so I mean, it, it, it looks. And I, I know. I mean, farmer is. I mean, I know farmers had his uh, difficulties. I mean, farmer. I mean, uh, you know, his, to his run to his actual title. I mean, he, he got shot in the hand. You know, he was. I mean, he had to basically learn on the job. You know, he. I mean, there was, there was, he had a lot of things going against him. So I, I understand he's trying to protect his. And we pass all that. Boo hoo hoo. Yeah. yeah. You know, I ain't crying over no motherfucker making 500k a fight. <laughs> right. and, and, and no, no, he's able to turn down two million. I'm sorry, now, the 500k cool, like <laughs> get your money. But yeah, I, I ain't feeling sorry for nobody turning down two mil. Like, <laughs> nah, right. over someone you said you better than and you could beat. Right. You nah. know, and, and they both said it too. But it's just yeah. like they're, they're. I mean, they're reaching the point. I mean. I mean, it's rare that you, it's rare that you see a champion take on both his mandatories who, when they first fought, they fought to a draw. You know, usually they usually fight one of them to keep it moving, but he fought both of them to. And I'm just like, why? You know, it's, you don't yeah, need to do that. I mean, could, you can, he could have spent that time, you know, building up his social media profile and, and retweeting and and engaging fans. Well, technically, he is on Twitter. He he does engage enough, but I'm talking about. But, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we want the like the episodes, like you know, Tevin Farmer. Like, why do we want? Uh, like, he has buzz. Like, why do we want to see you against Tank? And Tank can be doing the same thing too. I mean, Tank is not his, his competition has not been stellar either. They both could use the break media services. Let's yeah. just be honest. Yeah, it would be a fucking steroid boost to both of their damn careers. Like, like okay. Javante Davis, he he's kind of inherited the whole Broner urban crowd. Mm-hmm. And I say inherited because he didn't have to do as much as Broner did to even get the crowd. Right. Like, and, and he didn't have to, he didn't have to fight the, the type of caliber opponents as often. None of that shit. So he, he kind of just got it. He's kind of good, but it's going to get stale if he doesn't build on that. Right. Yeah, dude. He agree. doesn't have the personality of Floyd and, and Broner. So he, no, but he that's what I'm saying. Out. That's why it's so important to understand the fighter's personality, his hobbies, his passions, his interests, and build content around those passions and interests. Not just follow the trend of fucking rap videos and money and casinos right. and girls and strip clubs. Like, leave that to whoever's doing it. If Javante wants to build a solid foundation for himself, he should not look at a guy like Adrian Broner, for sure. And that's the thing. I'm not saying he can't do... He could do both. But he just can't just follow Adrian Broner and Floyd Steps. Yeah, all, the whole be Steps. Like, nah. I'm not saying he can't be in rap videos and all that other shit. Look, he could do all of that. I mean, they're yeah, not fighting sure. every day. They're not. Yeah, <laughs> he no, got for sure. Plenty. For sure, I don't mind that. I don't, but but yeah, I agree with you. I don't mind him being in the rap videos. I don't even mind him being on the Roll Star type of fucking content either. But it just um, don't follow the footstep like A to Z. Mm-hmm. Like be your take own. A break and be yeah. yeah, expand that shit. Like you you you've been given the foundation. Now, now build something on it and, and with Farmer Farmer wasn't giving that He had a little You know what's so with... funny And this is what blows my mind It's like you make You make that point LB before It's like you make so much money You can't take 30,000 And give it to somebody To do your social media For one year Bruh I, I don't Bruh It blows Kevin my Farmer mind Blows my mind right now, Both of them could But for Farmer it, it, To me it falls more on Farmer Because his name and his popping is Javante Davis. Yeah, Farmer could use it. And I've emailed Farmer a few times too, but I didn't get no response back. And that's cool with me too. If nobody responds back, that just shows me that the fighter doesn't handle his emails. It's his fucking manager who's been the roadblock. Cause so far, every fighter that I've signed, and God bless, I've signed 30 plus fighters uh, all across America and Australia and Europe. Um, when a fighter doesn't respond to me, I know right away it's a roadblock, it's a gatekeeper. <laughs> Absolutely, because you know a lot of a lot of boxers, they have people run their social media. Yeah, they yeah. do, and they don't have it set up where it's like, look, if people showing me love, okay, show love back. They almost have it where, okay, you got some people hating on me, yeah, hate on them back. Da, da, da. It's like they put energy into the wrong shit, like the wrong the shit, positive positivity, like. Even I, the idea you had with Wilder earlier about the cooking shows yeah. and all that, yeah. that's cool. A lot of times, too, they could start off with something more boxing-related 
and yeah. build off of that as well. Like like Wilder, a guy who's known for knockouts, he could easily have his own site up, have his own show, and be like, look, all the amateur boxers, pro boxers, you know, up and comers, yo, y'all send me y'all knockout videos. My favorite yeah. one, yeah, I'ma put out there. It. Yeah. Yeah. He could do shit like yeah. that because it's like it's Wilder, the king of knockouts. Right, yeah, exactly. He could definitely My monster do could do that too. too. <laughs> a, a lot of do it, you know. Even defensive of a, a Tevin Farmer could do something like, "Well, okay, let's y'all y'all send me y'all y'all favorite defensive clips." Yeah, well, Tevin Farmer has his own YouTube channel, but it has shit views, shit subscribers, shit everything, and it's like, dude, just if somebody's offering your help, like how I offer help, it's like, take. I, it. And I know it's not Tevin saying no. It has to be some gatekeeper. Why is that gatekeeper so? hesitant or just messing me back and saying wow this sounds awesome we agree with you tevin farmer is not fucking recognized in america we should change that <laughs> well okay because it, because probably that person is probably getting paid to actually do that i get some change and if someone more established like let's say you and your company come takes over does a better job then that person a hanger on might not have a position anymore within this camp yeah no, you're absolutely right so and that's a sad part because i feel like yeah, you want to look out for your people. You want to put your people's on. I, I get that. But at the end of the day, this is your career. Your brand, your personality. Your exactly. You know, when you retire, you want people to remember you for, for the great moments, not for some bullshit fight you had at the corner store. Right. You said that so passionately and truly there, LB. I couldn't agree more. Like, you want people to remember you. And that manager who you kept on pay because he was like one of yours isn't going to be there but your fans will be there if you just keep them but unfortunately you got fucking shady ass people in your crew who don't want that for you that's it fans are expendable Let, let's be honest man Let, let's be honest hardcore boxing fans are expendable yep that that's how we treat it yeah i mean that's how we i mean well, like let's do it so, i mean yeah, I mean, we'll, 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 us will get a fighter buzzing, but as soon as they get some kind of mainstream love, it's, I mean, most of the time, it, we're, I mean, it's the, the casuals they try to cater to. Yeah, and I understand that, but it's just like, but when you're not popular with the casuals anymore, it's just like, you know, <laughs> then, he, then, he start, then he start calling back, okay, yeah, yeah, we can talk to you now, or you know, this, that. Like, no, 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 keep that energy. Take your sorry ass back to the casuals. It's like those rappers that, that blow up off the first album. And you know the second album come, they they alienate what got them popping, and then they start doing a whole different sound, trying to be all commercial. And you're like, damn, like you know, you could have could have still made a couple of tracks for the streets. I mean, you still could have held it down. <laughs> like, but but this is it's the same thing with the boxers. It's like, well, what happened to all the meet and greets? What happened to going to people's gyms? You know. I, there's like no interaction with boxing. Like I, I give Danny Garcia his credit because he follow. He has his meet and greets and shit. I was able to meet him off of that. Gave him some artwork. Real cool dude, you know. But that's just one boxer, and it, it's crazy that Danny Garcia was in Florida for that. I'm like, damn, the Thurman, you're from here. Where you at? <laughs> right, and it, it's it's why I mean. The, the, the only time I really met any boxers is either if I go to like all the media scrums for the events or the days when, when I'm actually in the gym and when, when I'm working, you know what I'm saying? Like when I used to go- Oh like, yeah, yeah, too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that, I, mean I, used to meet, I used to meet boxers that way. Cause I mean, and the only reason was, when, like they would talk to me is because I was working like they were working. You know what I'm saying? Some of them will say hello, they know me by name or they're like, you know, show me, you know, they give me a couple pointers and stuff like that. But other than that, like, there's no in between. Like, you know, there's and like that's no, a problem. Yeah, they're not. They're not. That's a problem. <laughs> the only time you're gonna talk to boxers or see a boxer or, or get any interaction with them is at a fucking gym, or if you run into them at a fight, yeah. or are you or, or you got your own fucking media site yeah. and you <laughs> you're working. And <laughs> like, like, nah. That, if you're trying to be a mainstream, nah. That's that's not gonna work. Yeah, I mean, in the end, like, I mean, all, I mean, the fighter knows what he has to do. Like, I mean, like, you know, the fighter has to fight the right fights. You know, that's Tevin, you know, Tevin Farmer, that's Javante Davis. They have to engage with the, you know, engage with the audience. They have to be aware of the digital imprint. They have to be aware of the imprint that they have on fans. You know, it's it's just, that's, that's the point. That's how, that's how 
It is, and some people like they may take the shortcuts in order to try to build it, and then in the end, you know, if, if you do shortcuts, you know, sometimes you know you get results that you may not expect. You know, you get shortcut results. You you half ass it in the gym or in promotion. You get half ass results. It's only your fault. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and uh, you know, like I said, you know, so any fighters, you know, out there that need help with that, you know, like I said. That's why we have Jay. We have Jay in this company. You know, Jay and his company will help you. Like, if you're struggling leaving a digital mark, an imprint in this new social media world, you need to see that man. You need to see his company. You need to get his services, and you need to get his shit right. You know. Um, Thank you. Don't half-ass it. Don't half-ass your career. Don't half-ass your fan base. You know, because like I said, it only benefits you. That's and that's that's real talk. Yeah, because honestly, listen to this podcast. And, and go back to the point where we was telling you bullshit. Did anything this man say had any like negativity around it where you're like, you know what? I don't think this will work for me. Like, why the fuck I need to be out there interacting with fans? You know, I'm getting big money. Okay, I. Right. You know how many boxers that got big money that no one remembers their ass no more? Yeah. <laughs> if, if it's people like us, me and Pat Ring Gang, we keep boxing alive. Like. A lot of these people, they, they hype beast. They talk about what's now. We talk about fights as fighters as retired, dead, forgotten. Highlight videos on fighters that you ain't even checking for. Like, right, so you know. It, 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 we don't do it. Who who else gonna do it? Right, exactly. Like I, I I'm on I'm on the ringing IG. Like you know, like like the popular thing is like you know my uh, my nightly KO segments, and I and I pick out KOs from all types of errors, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, you know, but there's more to boxing than just now. I mean, boxing, yeah, I mean, yeah, boxing has to grow, but you can't forget where boxing has come from. So I like to do my part with creating the videos for that or the articles, my forgotten fades, you know? I like to I like to highlight fights that let's say a new, like a newcomer to boxing, like, you know, in order for them to really fully understand boxing today, you know, go back to yesteryear, you know, I like to write about these things, you know? And you know, and that, to me, I mean, that's just as, that's just as important. Uh, it's an education process. It's an education process. Yeah, that's honestly what it is. That that's the best way I can really put it. Because if if we're not doing it, then maybe a few others might do it. But we're we're not in the majority for this. No, no, we are not. You know what I'm saying? So if if we're not talking about you know bone atoms and <laughs> and and. and, and uh, 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 Delvin Rodriguez, <laughs> yeah, Lehman Brewster, any of these cats, you know, yeah. out there, you know, and these are cats that they they weren't in the digital. They're not. They don't have the benefit of social media like some of today's fighters, you know. And some of these fighters are not even taking advantage of this, and which exactly. is you know, which blows my mind, blows LB's mind, blows Jay's mind, you know. So it's like you know, if, if you're not, if, if you have all these like these fighters, yes, they don't have these advantages. So we try to. You know, we try to do our part on that. But when you have fighters to say that, not take advantage of all these things that are around them, it's, it's frustrating. It's just like yeah, it is. You get stagnation. That's that. That's that's what. That's pretty much what you get. You get stagnation. You don't get growth. You get nothing. And, and, and you Especially wonder on a, on a worldwide level because you you see it like boxing's worldwide. And when I see the disconnect in America with boxing, I'm like, damn, you got you got people in uh, Turkey. You know, retweeting our videos and loving this shit. You got in Australia, everywhere. So it's like, damn, they love boxing. Like America, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, like UK, like the one with Tinko fight, which we'll probably touch upon in the future progress. But man, those fans were rabid. For Lomachenko in UK versus Luke Campbell, like yeah. what? Like, it, like it was just like wow. Like you didn't even see, you never saw this reaction for Lomachenko in America. Hell and, no. No, hell no. You know, okay, you know it's pretty much what's Tinko to fight Lomachenko. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you know it, it, it's crazy how I other Ricky Hatton was fighting. Yeah, it, it's crazy how other countries digest embrace it. Boxing. Yeah, embrace it, digest boxing in, in comparison to America. You know, it, 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 it's 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 sad in a way. It's horribly sad. Yeah. You know, it's you know you, you won't see boxing grow, man. That, yeah. That's why I'm proud of Jay, and I respect what he's doing. Because if you a fan of something, you love something, it's been there for you. You want to see it grow. You want to maximize that shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude. That's, that's all, all it is, man. It's yeah. all for the love of the sport, man. Yeah, the love of the sport. That's what, and that, in the end, you know, to sum it up, that's what we do. We all do it for the love of the sport. You know, we all play our different parts, you know, whether it's a company or whether it's a website, or whether it's a YouTube or whatever. Mark, you know, an agency, we all do our part because we all love boxing. No, no, hold on, no, disclaimer, disclaimer. We ain't saying money ain't cool now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can break us off. We can giving y'all a lot of real shit, a lot of real game out here, you know. Yeah. I don't know, may- maybe may- maybe if Jay just, just run up on y'all like, look, man, 25 racks. I need y'all to, we doing this. Because <laughs> yeah, if you, you offer to do it, it's like, motherfuckers, it's like, nah. You- <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what they say. It's like, nah, nah, nah. It's like, whatever, man. But you know what? It's everything's gonna change, man. I appreciate you guys' time for having me on, but we're gonna definitely change the game. Uh, this is a team effort, obviously. I'm not doing this alone, which is why I incorporated the fans in the documentary. We're gonna definitely, definitely make some changes going into 2020, man. So thanks for your support, guys. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll definitely, you know, we'll, you know, this will end our podcast for tonight. You know, uh, I think we just already, we already put our final thoughts out there, our final words. I don't think there's any need for that. So, um, sure. so you had to bring them back though one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll definitely, yeah, we'll definitely bring. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you guys the exclusive, man, for sure. When I have, when I'm when I'm through, through the document, I'm gonna make sure I come to you guys first because you guys gave me the opportunity to speak first on this podcast about the doc, and I'll pay that respect back by having you guys feature the documentary first on your channel. Oh, oh hell yeah! Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, we are honored. Thank yeah, you, honored. Thank you very much for that. All right, yeah, brothers. You. So yeah, man, you just heard, you know, the words you know, from Jake Chaudhry, you know, three-time internationally acclaimed filmmaker and co-founder of Break Media Group. Man, so yeah, check his website out, you know, follow him on all on Twitter, on Instagram, everywhere that he is. And then also follow us like everywhere, Ring Gang's everywhere, man. We have a website, we have Instagram, we have a Twitter, you know what I'm saying? We have YouTube, we have our podcast on, you know, all types of Podomatic. We have it on uh, Spotify. Spotify. Yeah, Spotify. Yeah, sure. Twitter. Google Play, Apple Podcasts, we out there, man. So, uh, where we're watching that, we there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Cool. Sure, my All right, my boys, I'm going to cut, but mad respect to you, boys. All right, man. Take it easy. Appreciate Take it, bro. It easy, man. Have a good one. You too. So, yeah, we are also going to also end our podcast for tonight. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, check us, uh, yep. Yeah, uh, so, check us out, uh, we'll pie. You know, talk again in a couple of days. So for myself, Pat Scorpio, New England representer, you know, for uh, LB, Shuttleworth the God, GOAT artist, you know, we out of here, man. Uh, you know, till next time. Peace. <laughs>